Green, I need you to I need you to, to buzz off, Green. Okay, go for yellow. Let's go for yellow. Come on, hit him hard. Hit him, hit him, hit him hard. Come on. No! No! Get get oh! Oh no! No, no! Out first! Unbelievable! Oh yes! Back up! No! Back down! Dang it! What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic with more mini cubes. I love these little mini cubes. So if you guys do remember, this mini cube was actually used in a multiplayer Monday. Uh, we did some sort of AI cube branching. Now these cubes are designed to constantly try and move away from you. So whenever you get on one side of it or the other side of it, uh, you can see there if we get in front of it, it's going to try and back off. It's going to try and turn away from us. But with the block movements on a controller, it's literally the most derpy thing that you could possibly have in Scrap Mechanic. So it does have a bunch of logic in it, but it's really, it's just basically trying to run away. And if we trap it completely, um, let's see if we can, we can trap it completely. Come here. We're gonna, yeah, no, you're gonna hide there. Yeah. Okay. Can't, can't get there. Got you. Okay. One more. And there we go. So after working with the ranching little cube, I decided it, it would be appropriate to work on a better mini cube. And I present for the first time in Scrap Mechanic, I think. I'm not really sure. Probably not. But it's the mini cube boxing arena. So these mini cubes, they're all identical. They have different colors, but they're all pretty much the same. And they have a few layers of sensors. So they will try and punch you when you get in front of them, which is quite awesome. And then in the back, of course, they've got a sort of self-stabilizing mechanism just in case as they punch, sometimes they punch and tilt themselves backwards. But then they also have a couple layers of color sensors. So you can see the walls of this arena are black and that's because they're actually designed to steer away from the black objects. That way they aren't going to try and go and punch the wall. But they're also designed to steer towards any other object. So you can't paint a single one of these black. If you paint it black, then they're all going to try and avoid that one rather than go towards it. But uh, we've got the blue one, the red one, the green one, and the yellow one. And of course, if we turn them on, we'll see just how amazing they are. Now, of course, with the incredibly accurate movements in Scrap Mechanic, especially when dealing with blocks on controllers, uh, you can see these guys really really are able to track each other down. You can see yellow trying to rotate here, punching the wall already to start off the match. Blue laying in those first punches to yellow. Uh, oh, yellow fighting back really quickly here. Yellow really going for it. See now trying to go towards blue again. The uh, controller movements in this game, absolutely terrible. You can see they're bouncing constantly. Uh, you know, we could use modded wheels, but half the fun is watching them bounce and try and really get it. Red still punching the wall, thinking that is in fact the opponent. Green going for the side shots on red. Now, they don't have any stabilizers on the sides. I have seen them actually get punched right out of the arena, which is kind of awesome. But they'll basically just punch each other until they're all flipped over. And when one's flipped over, they'll still punch it and sometimes flip it back. It's really quite amazing. Green here. Green going for the kill on red in the corner. Uh, doesn't look like that's going to work. Yellow here trying to get some cheap shots off on green. Is that going to is that gonna work? Oh, oh, almost flipping himself over. Red's just trying to turn around here, avoid the wall a little bit. Yellow going now for green, decided that was a better target. Green going for red. Uh, green might turn here and go for yellow. Nope, still going for red. Big punch is being laid. Oh, green on its back. Green getting flipped over completely. That's it for green. Unless someone else comes along and saves it. Uh, red though, of course, is still going to fight green, thinking that green is in fact a target. Uh, look at this. Look at this skill. Skill being displayed here by red. Yeah, no, totally. Oh, almost getting flipped over. Oh, Blue's coming in for the fight. Blue also getting some shots off on green. Blue jumping for some reason, even though there is no jump built into these things. Uh, red's stuck up on green here. This this might be the end of red. Looks like red did, in fact, flip over there. Yeah, no, red punching the wall now. Uh, blue here bullying them. Okay, green also trying to punch the wall. Yeah. The uh, the robot intelligence is at an all-time high here today. Okay, blue blue's just, you know, throwing the 1-2, the 1-2, trying to make sure everyone knows blue's boss. Um... Yeah, no, blue, yellow getting the cheap shot in. Yellow going for the cheap shots. Blue not even turning around. Blue still going for... Blue flipping over yellow with the stabilizer. That's it. Blue, ladies and gentlemen, wins the first ever robot boxing tournament. Really just... Oh, no, and blue... Oh, who's gonna, who's gonna survive this? Green, definitely not doing it. Is blue gonna land? Blue punching himself, getting glitched out. Blue... You could do... Oh, blue's, gonna, blue's got this. Look at this. Look at this. Green punching red while upside down. This is really... This is good stuff. Of course, you could build any style of uh, arena you want as long as you keep the walls black. You could even put, you know, pillars in the middle of the arena and have it so they have to fight around the outside if you wanted to. But I thought the best thing we could do is add in a human player as well. I decided to make 
another robot cube and uh, this one is the exact same thing it's got the same punching mechanism so you can't control when it punches it's all based off that same sensor in the middle and it still has the same stabilization sensor in the back and it moves at the same speed but the movements are not controlled by sensors they're actually controlled by this uh, WASD converter on the back of this seat here so we just basically put it over the edge of the arena like this you can see we delete this bar and now we have a robot controlled well a human controlled robot cube fighter and same sense as all the other ones we can actually try and win this battle so we're going to start turning on all these ones and we'll see with five robots in the arena if we can uh, defeat them all and become champions of the robot boxing league of course we have to do this very quickly all right here we go let's let's go let's get out of here no blue i don't want to get sideswiped let's go let's go let's go okay the movements are still very derpy it's very terrible to control. Okay, we're trying to go trying to go left here. No, no, getting punched. No, not good. Not good. Not good. Not punch green. Okay. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get him. Get him. Get blue. Okay, let's go. Let's go for red. Go for red. Okay, you know what? Fine. Let's go for yellow. Okay, green. Green. I need you to I need you to, to buzz off, green. Okay. Go for yellow. Let's go for yellow. Come on, hit him hard. Hit him hit him hit him hard. Come on. No! No! Get get oh oh no! No, no, out first! Unbelievable! Oh, yes! Back up! No! Back down! Dang it! Get back up! Get back up! Red! Punch me back up! Come on, Red! You almost did it there! No, a little bit of, a little bit of lag as they're all fighting each other. I can't believe we're out first already. You know what? That's okay. We can spawn in another one here. And uh, while they continue to fight, we'll just spawn this one over the edge like so. Of course, we could add all human players into the field. We don't have to have any of the AI. Uh, but you know it is it is a lot of fun to try and come on come on come on green. Let's go blue. Let's go Let's go. You want a piece of me? It is very fun to try and box with these AI of course But uh, we could have an all-human fight just paint the different colors I will upload both the AI four pack which is the four colored ones as well as this individual human Controlled remote controlled one if you'd like to try it out. It is a lot of fun to try and box I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Just make sure if you do paint your own uh, don't paint them black because then the AI will get confused. They are looking... I mean, you could also change, I guess, all the color sensors if you wanted to. But it, it's really it's really just... Okay, come on, Green. You know what? Let's go. I mean, technically speaking, the player one is heavier than the, the AI-controlled ones. But for some reason, I still get bullied like crazy. Come here, Green. Green, get out of here. I know over here. Come on. Okay, let's go. You know what? Blue, I'm... We're going to avoid blue. Let's go this way. No, oh, come on. Okay, red. I don't know what you're doing. Red. Come on, turn. All right, fight. Let's go. Again, block movements, uh, block wheels with controllers. Really bad idea. We could redo this with single size block modded wheels, but there's no fun in that, guys. Half the fun is trying to deal with these terrible movements. It's like Mario Party where I got killed again. Look at that. Unbelievable. So quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Flip. Uh, no, we're still done. Oh, green looks like he's out too. Looks like green's out. You'll see too on the bottom of all of them, red might actually push green back in. No, red pushing green completely out. You'll see on the bottom of all of them too, there is an individual sensor. And that sensor basically turns off all movement controls when they're upside down. So, or when they're off the ground. That way, if they tilt back, they won't accidentally keep running their movements and flip themselves over. Uh, but we're, we're still done here. That's like two lives lost. Very terrible at this game. All right, come on, yellow. Come on. Yes. Bully yellow in the corner. Let's go blue. Let's work together. Okay, no, the bounce. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, let's let's work together. Let's get yellow here. No, let's get blue. No, okay. Let's, let's come on. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. Blue, blue. Come on, blue. Red's almost knocked over. Get red while he's still... still. Oh, no! One shot! I'm so terrible at this. You got to line up, like, straight when you're fighting them. And uh, I'm not I'm not very good at doing that. Oh, blue's, blue's dead, too, now. Yellow might flip blue over completely, though. No, blue's blue's out for the count. Looks like red and red and yellow are left. Guys, that's like three lives now. Three lives. Definitely terrible. Key is when you're in those situations where you're tilting backwards, you have to make sure you let go of all the controls. Now, the sensor on the bottom will let go of the controls, but for a little bit while you're tilted up, you'll still have a, a, the ability to drive. And if you do, it'll actually sometimes cause you to flip over. All right, let's do this. Come on, red. Come on, red. Come here, it's just me and you. Come on. Don't mind the fact that I respawned a bunch of times. There were four AI cubes. I mean, this is, you know, it's it's like, I mean, it was a free-for-all, but still. All right, come on, Red. What are you going to do? I'm going to bully you into the corner. Got you in the corner. Come on. Come on, Red. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Uh-oh. Do it. No! Are you serious? Punched, punched myself over. Red is the victor. Uh, looks like I'm absolutely terrible at this. It's definitely very much luck-based. It is. There's a huge element of trying to just avoid getting hit and, uh, of course... 
if you do have any buddies, try it out in multiplayer. It, be, it is definitely a lot of fun. I'm going to try and take out these cubes again. All right, red's stuck up in a corner already. This is good. Yellow is getting bullied right off the bat. So let's just let's just take out red. Yeah, we know we're shimming sideways. I didn't, didn't really want to do that. Okay, no, let's go. Okay, yellow. Yellow, you're scaring me. Oh, green as well. Okay, you know what? Let's go this way. Let's get out of here. Get over here. Come here. Nope. Come on. Come on, green. But anyways, guys, I will upload all this to the workshop. Um, I won't upload the arena, but the arena is just really, it's uh, nine full tiles if you were to build it. It's just basically a concrete slab with three high black walls around the outside for the cubes. The walls have to be at least three high around the outside if you want the cubes to respond to them. And that way they'll avoid them. If they're too high, most of the time they won't see them because uh, because of all the bouncing that they're doing. But if they're three high, it works pretty well and they can still get knocked out over them. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's get out of here. This is a this is a bad situation. All right, let's let's go for. I don't I don't trust yellow. Come on, yellow. You want a piece of me? Let's go. Let's go. Let's just let's just deke it back and forth. Come on, yellow. Come on, yellow. Come on. Get my turn. No, the turning turning doesn't always work. Okay, come on, yellow. I'm gonna hit him in the side. Oh boy. No, reds reds hit me in behind here. Oh no. Oh. Just completely wrecked. That wasn't even- oh, red looks like he might get wrecked. No, red looks like these AI are much smarter than the human version. Um, I'm having- I haven't- I don't think I've beaten one yet. I don't know, can we put this on the lift? I think it will break all the connections though, won't it? Oh no, it doesn't. Fantastic. We can just- we can just keep putting that on the lift. Okay. Yeah, the- the player-controlled cube is supposed to be heavier, but apparently it's- uh, it gets its butt kicked more often. These- these- there we go. Clobbered blue. Let's go, blue. Let's go. I'm gonna finish you off right here, right now. There you go, done. Blue is over. All right, let's go go around. Let's just uh, let's turn around here. Okay, yeah, no, don't get hit by blue. He can still punch when he's on the ground there. Okay, let's go for red. Red's like our arch nemesis here. Red seems to be taking all the kills. All right, green's coming in. Green, green, go away. Bugger off, green. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Green looks like he might. No, green's gonna tip back up. All right, get punched in the side. No, don't get punched by green. Green, stop. This would be, I think, the best multiplayer Monday ever. Just the most ridiculous cube boxing ever. And it's not really, even with a player-controlled cube, all you're doing is controlling the movements. You still don't control the punches. So you're kind of stuck letting it punch just sort of whenever it wants. And uh, you have to kind of line it up for it to do that. Of course, that makes it, oh boy, no, Red's going to come in for the bully shot. Let Red do that. All right, let's go. Let's go here. But I can keep playing this for hours. It's so much fun. I mean, it's one of the most derpy things in Scrap Mechanic, like I said, but it's really just a lot of fun. And if you guys are curious about how this cube is made, it's very, very simple, really. It just has a set of sensors that says, if you see an object on these sensors, go towards it, turn in that direction. So reverse the other side. And if you have an object that's seen on the color sensors, then go away from it. And the color sensors are just slightly longer than the regular sensors, so the regular sensors don't accidentally pick up the wall. The color sensors will automatically pick up the wall first and turn away from it before the regular sensors pick up the object to go towards it. And then, of course, the punching is just on an alternating timer controlled by a sensor in the front that says whenever you see something on this sensor, start punching like crazy until you don't see something anymore. So it makes it just, oh, no, go go away, go away, yellow. No, we're going to get hit by red. Okay. Okay, go towards, go towards yellow, red. Like, stop. Okay, we're going for green, uh, green, red, stuck, stuck in between a green and red sandwich. Oh, boy. Oh, man, got clobbered again. Look at that. Amazing. I'm terrible at this. I don't know how, how I'm supposed to beat these these stupid cubes. Make sure, you guys, if you are interested, check these out, of course, on the workshop and uh, hit those buttons down below. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is just a really, really fun project. I like these mini cubes. If you guys have any ideas for other things you could do in a mini cube, let me know. Of course, the mini cube is a 5x5 five five cube, so it is very, very difficult to do a lot of stuff in it. But they're a lot of fun just to sort of have, and uh, and they're very derpy to watch. But really, they I find the derpiness just gives them more and more personality. You can see there, our cube actually taking out yellow before. Looks like green is, in fact, the winner. But make sure you guys check this out on the workshop and hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.